Manny from Gourmet Takeaway. Today we're gonna be showing you how we make our Barbara's New England Cranberry Nut Bread. Okay, so what we're gonna be needing is uh, a nice premium cranberry. See here, the cranberry are cut in half by hand. We, uh, we don't use a processor because that makes it too mushy. And then we're gonna be needing some walnuts. And of course, we're gonna need the flowers, orange juice. We're gonna need some butter, some eggs. And we're gonna need some uh, orange zest, salt, vanilla, a dash of uh, lemon extract, baking powder, baking soda, and of course we're gonna need the sugar. First, uh, we're gonna prepare the pans. So uh, what we're doing here, uh, we buttering uh, the pans, uh, the bottom, the sides, so that will help uh, the cake not to stick to the pan. We also gonna flour uh, the sides and the bottom of the pans. Now you know there's excess flour in the pan, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap it, and here we are. Now we have to measure all the dry ingredients, the flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and sugar, and we're gonna sift them all together. Here we are, we have the flour now. Uh, we, we're gonna be adding uh, the sugar. You know, we are doubling the recipe, uh, but all you have to do is uh, just read the recipe and follow it through, and if you would like to double it, it's up to you. Adding the salt. Adding the baking powder now. We're adding the baking soda. Now we mix all the dry ingredients together, and then we'll sift it. Okay, we're sifting all the dry ingredients. Here we are, we sifted all the dry ingredients together. Now we're gonna uh, put all the wet ingredients together. Here we are zesting the orange and adding it to the orange juice. We added the orange zest to the orange juice and now we're going to be adding the vanilla extract. Going to add a little bit of the orange, uh, what's that, lemon, lemon extract. And here we have the eggs and now we're going to beat it nice and smooth. So we have uh, to beat the eggs really, really good until it's nice and fluffy and that will help uh, the cake and the, the cranberry bread rise pretty well. Here are our eggs, well beaten to a pale yellow color and nice and fluffy. Here now we have our butter and uh, we're gonna be microwaving it for about maybe 45 seconds or so to uh, have it melted pretty good. And now we add all our liquid ingredients together. We added the orange mixture to the eggs and here we're adding our butter, melted butter. And now we're gonna be adding the wet ingredients to our dry ingredients. Now uh, we mix the ingredients together. Okay, we continue mixing the ingredients. And while we're mixing it, uh, we can uh, uh, stop and let it rest for uh, a minute or so before we continue mixing. The reason uh, we stop uh, during mixing it for a few uh, for a minute or so is to allow the mixture to hydrate because you don't want to have a very wet uh, dough or a dry dough. 
here as we can see uh, the mixture is just right uh, it's not too wet and it's not too dry now I'm gonna be adding uh, the cranberry and the walnut to the mixture and uh, we mix all the ingredients together nice and gently folding in so you don't want to lose too much of the consistency of the of the dough the air here we are the mixture is nicely folded together and evenly distributed and as we mentioned the reason we fold it in so to keep the air that we created when we were uh, beating the eggs and that will help uh, the bread to rise much better now we're gonna fill our pre-prepared pans we are as we mentioned we are doing two uh, loaves today uh, because we doubled the recipe now uh, we can we are filling uh, the pans and and if you like we use a scale if you want it to be precise but you can always uh, you know do it uh, by eyeing it here we are now we have our pans nicely filled and evenly now we're going to be adding to the top we're going to add some going to make a mixture of sugar and cinnamon you mix the sugar and cinnamon pretty well together and so what we do is we cover the top of the bread with the cinnamon and sugar mixture and that will gives it a nice uh, uh, look and it gives it a beautiful nice flavor as well And now we let our bread rest for about 20 to 25 minutes. While we have our oven uh, preheated to 375. Uh, after 25 minutes of uh, resting, now we're gonna add the loaves to the oven and cook it for 55 minutes. We are halfway through baking. We're gonna be turning the pans around to for even baking okay that's been 55 minutes and now we take the loaves out and we test it to it make sure it's still wet is it, it still wet? wet yeah it's quite wet oh it it, how about the wet. other one I think our loaves are still a little bit uh, wet in the middle, so we're gonna return them and bake them for another five minutes maybe. Here we are, now our loaves are nicely baked. So actually what you have to do is, like uh, after 55 minutes, you take it out and you test it. If it is wet in the middle, you put it back for another five minutes. And then you check it again to make sure it's nicely baked so now we're gonna let our uh, loaf sit here in the pan for about 10 minutes and then we'll take them out of the pan okay after 15 minutes resting in the pan now we're gonna turn it and flip it into a nice rack like that okay here we are our cranberry nut bread is ready and now we let it rest until it's nice and cool and we will not uh, cut it uh, or eat it until uh, after like 24 hours uh, of resting because this way all the ingredients will mix together and you will taste uh, everything in the bread and in our case here uh, we're gonna be eating one and we're gonna be freezing another loaf here for a later day okay here after 24 hours uh, 
of having our loaves resting. Now let's cut them up and show you how they look like. All right, we're gonna cut this in half. And wow, what do you think? Looks delicious, isn't it? All right. Okay guys, hope you like uh, this recipe and this cranberry bread came out very, very delicious and hope you guys try it and let us know. Bye for now.